So just when you think the stories out of Loudoun County, Virginia can't be more horrifying. I mean, what did we have? The school district covering up the rape of a girl because the rape was committed by a boy wearing a skirt in the bathroom. And of course, the school didn't want to talk about this, even though liberals are supposed to be hashtag me too. They're supposed to champion all women. They're supposed to believe all women. They hid this rape, the sexual assault that happened in the bathroom because it contradicted the transgender ideology. Now, the transgender ideology says, well, it's perfectly safe for biological women to go in gender-neutral bathrooms. Their, their persons, their bodies are not at risk from men who would attack them in the bathrooms under the guise of some kind of gender ideology. That's exactly what happened in Loudoun County. It's horrifying. As a mother, I, I mean, as a woman, as a person, I mean, it's so unfathomable that this happened. Um, I do not blame Scott Smith, the father who went ballistic at the school board, at the Loudoun County School Board. I don't blame him. What father wouldn't go ballistic when they claimed they didn't even know about the sexual assault of his daughter because it contradicted the transgender ideology that they're purporting in their schools? Horrifying. Well, it doesn't just happen. This, this radical leftist, this poisonous ideology isn't just in high schools in Loudoun County. In fact, this has infiltrated the ranks of even the youngest children in this school district. This is a heartbreaking video. A mother whose six-year-old goes to Loudoun County Public Schools said that the six-year-old, her six-year-old came home and asked her just a heart-rending question. And I want you to listen to this for yourself. Take a listen. My children are now in private school and are thriving. We had specifically moved into L chased out of LCPS due to the swift and uncompromising political agenda of superintendents Williams, Ziegler, and, sc the, and the school board th that have forced upon us. First, it was in early spring of 2020 when my six-year-old somberly came to me and asked me if she was born evil because she was a white person, something she learned in a history lesson at school. Then you kept the schools closed for a year and a half despite the science indicating that it was safe for kids to return. And now you've covered up a rape, then arrested, humiliated, and falsely accused her parents of being domestic terrorists. I wish I could return my kids to LCPS. Private school is expensive and I want my kids to be able to walk home from school with their friends in their own community. I refuse to allow you to destroy our schools. They are not your schools, they are our schools. You all should be ashamed and you should have the moral courage to admit you are wrong and step down. Can you imagine your little child, your innocent little child who has not been exposed to the evils of the world? Children aren't racist. Children are, are colorblind. Children just see fellow human beings. They don't care about immutable characteristics. They don't care about the politics of their parents. They don't care about the evils that surround, that swirl throughout our culture. They are good. They are pure. They are innocent. And that's why the left, like predators, targets the minds of children to poison them because children's minds are like sponges and they repeat and see the world as they are taught by adults. This, this topic makes me so angry because it amounts to child abuse, what happened to this little child. Can you imagine your child coming home and asking if they're evil because of the way that they look? The color of their skin? This is critical race theory. 